Um, today's class uh, is going to be a lot of fun, okay? Um, it's an all belt class, which means anywhere from dragons all the way up through black belts can take the same class. And there are different things for every belt level to go ahead and learn. You know, my dragons, if you can do as much as a sidekick, you can follow along with this class. My black belts, um, this is going to give you guys hopefully some more insight and add some extra higher level detail that you guys can add to your training sessions. Um, and hopefully there's something for everyone in this class. First thing I want to do here is get the body warmed up, okay? Um, we're going to do this warm-up a little different than normal. Um, since we're focusing primarily on kicks today at the beginning of the lesson, I really want to get those hips, um, legs, back, core loosened up. So I want you guys to do a couple squats, but we're going to be doing these a little different than normal, okay? Um, I actually want you to really focus on going low. This is not a squat to develop strength as much as it, as it is developing range of motion. So let me turn sideways so you guys can see. You know, a typical squat is going to be to about here. I want to see if you can get all the way down, go beyond the 90 degrees. So we're going to go all the way down and get low and then come up. Really work on keeping your back straight. Now when people hear me say, you know, keep your back straight, they try to keep that back totally straight. That's not what I mean. You want to keep your spine straight. That means you can actually lean forward slightly, keeping that back upright like so. Okay, and I go all the way down, keeping the heels on the ground and up. Again, this is more about range of motion, so we're not going that fast. Okay, we're going to do 10 of these. Let's do them together. Okay, ready, one, and get as low as possible, two, Three, four, five. Think about pushing your knees apart. You don't want your knees to cave in. Keep those knees apart. Almost like you're, you're, you're spreading your knees apart. Okay, and look how wide my knees are. Six, seven, eight, Notice how I'm taking my time. That allows me, once I get down, to, to kind of settle into this and go a little lower to really get that stretch. Okay, nine and one more, 10. Okay, next let's do a half squat. So we're gonna put our feet, um, you know, definitely wider than shoulder width, turning the toes out like so. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and squat down on one side. Now try to keep your heel on the ground. Try to keep the foot flat. A lot of people will kind of go on the balls of their feet here. Um, we want to try to avoid that, okay? So we're going to do 10 of these half squats. We're going to come all the way up and down. Okay, that's one. Come all the way up and down. That's two. All the way up and down. That's three. If you're having trouble with this, you know, you can put your hands on the ground. Come all the way up and down. Four. All the way up. Down five, all the way up, down six, up, down seven, up, down eight, up, down nine, and up, down ten. Okay, next we're gonna do a half squat again, but this time we're not coming up, we're just going and shifting. Okay, let's go ahead and begin. That's one, two, three. Four, stay low. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, guys, go ahead and come on up. Okay, so now we're going to do a forwards lunge, a front lunge. Let me turn sideways so you can see this from a, a, a different angle. Okay, so I actually want you to put one leg in front, um, and you're actually going to hold your arms. What this does is it keeps your back straight. Okay, so you're going to keep the arms up and base. So what we're going to do is we're going to stand up, switch feet, step forwards with the other leg. And again, come back and step forwards, okay? And again, keeping the arms up is just going to make sure you keep your back straight, okay? Let's go and do 10 of these. Everyone start in a lunge position. Hands up. We want to come up, step back, and then other leg forwards. That's one. Come up, step back. And down, that's two. Up, step back, and three. Up, back, four, back, five, back, six, up, back, 
seven, up back, eight, last two, up back, nine, and last one, up back, ten. Okay guys, we're gonna hit the wall real quick and do some, some uh, stretches on the wall. Next thing we're gonna do is called the hip swing, okay? So you're gonna put one hand on the wall. I'm gonna put my right hand on the wall, which means I will be kicking with my right leg. So obviously the leg that's closer to the wall. Um, and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna swing our leg forwards and back continuously. We're not gonna put our leg down. Um, and again, don't worry about the height on this one. This is more about um, you know, just getting the hips mobile and uh, kind of keeping a, a, a consistent flow with this. I wanna base bring the leg up and then back behind. Again, the height is not important. You're gonna see, even by kicking low, that you're feeling a stretch. Okay, so let's do about 10 of these together. Ready, hand on the wall, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, guys, let's switch legs. Okay, left hand on the wall, or opposite hand for you guys. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's it for our warm up. Hopefully, you guys are all stretched out. Let's get going with our lesson today. So we're gonna be focusing on your spin back kick today. Um, not only breaking the technique down and make it more accurate, but also how to set it up um, in a sparring situation. Now, um, you know, a lot of you guys already know the spin back kick, but knowing the kick and being able to hit it and land it consistently are two different things. Even if you miss by an inch or two, that can greatly affect, you know, how your kick, how effective it is. Um, you know, if you over-rotate, you turn too much, you miss that target. You can see I just barely caught it with my toes. That's a kick that it's not only not effective, it's dangerous for you, okay? Because if I go that kick, and this is my opponent, look where I landed. I landed right in front of them, and that makes me very vulnerable, okay? Um, if I under-rotate, same thing happens, but I end up on this side. Okay? It's more of a glancing blow. So we gotta work on being effective and most importantly, accurate. So when you throw that kick, you're able to hit your target consistently um, and with power. So whoever named the kick the spinning back kick uh, gave it the wrong name. It's not really a spinning back kick. Most people when they think spin, they think like a circular motion. Okay, like, like a spin hook kick. That's not what we're doing. It's more of a turning back kick. So this is a linear kick, okay? Um, that may, basically means a straight kick. Um, so I said earlier, if you can do a side kick, you can do this kick. So don't think of this as a spinning motion. Okay? That'll get you messed up. And that's when you start missing your target. As I was showing you on the pad earlier, you know, I was over-rotating, under-rotating. This is a straight ahead linear kick. So we gotta really keep that in mind. So this next drill, is hopefully gonna help you with that. So the first part of our spin back kick, um, even though it should be called a turn back kick, is to turn. So we wanna turn, okay, look how my heels are facing where I'm kicking. Okay, now from here, I'm gonna take that back leg, and I'm simply gonna drag my foot straight behind, okay? Um, and when you're throwing this kick, you gotta think about doing that same thing, about dragging that foot straight behind. So this is the drill to really help improve your accuracy. We're gonna take that same leg and we're gonna slide it forwards and we're gonna slide it back, okay? We're gonna do this about 10 times. And I'm telling you guys, this seems like a very easy drill, um, but it's really gonna to help to improve your accuracy. So when you slide your foot, okay, don't slide like this. Slide with your whole foot on the ground and then return. Let's do 10 of these together, okay? One, return, two, return, three, return, four, return. Imagine you have the thinnest of lines and you have to stay precisely on that line. Ready? Five, return, six, return. 
seven, return. Eight, return. Nine, return. If you can notice, I have my eye on the camera here. So you always want to have your eye on the target, not facing completely away, and head is turned. Okay, this is our last one. Ten, return. Okay, let's do the other leg. Um, I'm going to face sideways on this one so you can get a side view also. So I'm going to be keeping with my left leg. I'll be turning this way. Okay, so opposite leg. First thing, turn. Point those heels. I'm going to look at my target. Now that left leg is going to slide and come behind. Slide and return. That's two. Three, return. Four, return. Five, return. Six, return. Seven, return. Eight, return. Nine, return. Ten, return. Okay, like I said, very simple drill, but I guarantee you it's going to help improve your accuracy. So if you're in class, you're practicing at home, and you're having trouble, hitting that target consistently. Um, practice that drill for, for a minute or so, and I guarantee your accuracy will be improved. Okay, let's do another version of the spin back kick. Okay, so we're gonna take that same drill um, and add to it here. So think about um, you know, drawing that line with your foot, but we're gonna actually add the kick this time. So first thing, churn. Now with that right leg, you want to chamber, kick, re-chamber down. Look how that kick went totally straight and then reset. So again, we're gonna turn, okay? And then really focus on chamber kick, re-chamber down, um, and being totally linear with that kick. Okay, let's go to do 10 of these. Um, so you're actually gonna stay turned the whole time. Okay, so what I want you to basically do is chamber kick, re-chamber, and put that foot back. Okay, just like we were doing before where we, we slid our foot on the ground. Okay, 10, ready, we'll do them together. One, return. Two, return. Three, return. Four, return. And you're trying to train yourself to make that kick straight behind. Ready? Five, return. Six, return. Seven, Return. Eight. Return. Nine. Return. Ten. Return. Okay, guys, let's do the opposite leg now. So I'm going to do the left leg. I'm going to give you a side view. So the left leg is behind you, or for you guys, whichever the opposite is. Turn. Now remember, we're just going to kick and return to the same spot. Okay? Ready? One. Return. Really focus on that chamber. Two. Return. Three. Return. Four. Return. Five. Return. Six. Return. Seven. Return. Eight. Return. Nine. Return. That last one here, guys. Ten. Return. Okay. So let's put the whole thing together here, okay? Now for my little belts, you know, this is going to get going a little faster for you guys, so don't worry how fast I'm going, okay? I don't expect you to go the speed, um, you know, go at whatever speed's comfortable. Uh, my advanced belts, this is how you should be throwing this kick. Okay? You know, when we first teach it, it's turn, look, kick. Okay? But it's eventually, it's just got to be turn, look, kick. All in one move. Turn, look, kick. Boom, boom, boom. Okay? Not turn, pause, look, pause, kick, pause. It's got to be turn, look, kick. And notice how that kick went straight behind. I didn't go off to either side because I'm keeping this kick as a linear kick, a straight kick. So what we want to focus on here now is putting all that together. And look how I land straight behind. If you want to do a little drill at home, you know, find a line to stand on. I have this line where the mats are at. Um, and when I throw this kick, I'm gonna, my goal is to land 
right on that line. If you can do that, you know your kick is straight and you're always gonna hit your target that's directly behind you, okay? So for this part, I'm actually gonna let you guys practice on your own, so you're gonna hit pause and practice for about two, three minutes, not very long. Again, go at whatever speed you guys uh, feel you can. Come back for the next drill and we're gonna teach you how to go ahead and set this up in a sparring situation. So there's one more advanced detail that I want to give you guys in the spin back kick. Um, a detail that, that not many people uh, are aware of and they definitely don't um, you know, have it on their kick. And that is when we're kicking, um, you know, you're not stationary. And what I mean by that is when I kick, I actually want to push myself forward. So I'll show you what I mean here. As I throw this kick, okay, and let me give you guys a side view so you can see this here. Okay. Watch this one, my left one. Okay, so I'm gonna turn, I see my target, and see how that foot slides? Um, that does a couple of things. Number one, it gets me a little bit more reach, you know, three, four more inches. My opponent might feel like I'm out of range, I can't hit them, but by adding that little extra bit, it gives me a little bit more range, um, which throws off their distancing. Okay, it also adds more power, because you're pushing into the kick. Okay, not just staying still. Okay, so when you work on this, throw this kick and see if you can actually push yourself forwards. Okay, let me do one this way here. Again, I'm gonna turn and I push myself forwards on that spin back kick. Okay guys, again, kind of a more advanced detail. Hopefully you guys can pick that up uh, with your training. So we're gonna work now on setting up the spin back kick and spar. Okay, your spin back kick is very much a situational kick meaning you can't use it in every situation. You know, it's not one of those kicks like a front kick, a roundhouse, a side kick, that you can use pretty much in any situation, okay? Spin back kick, it has to be the, the right situation. Oftentimes, it's best to throw it as a counter attack. You know, your partner attacks you, and as they're attacking, you throw that spin back kick, okay? It can be used as an offensive weapon, but you gotta set it up, and that's what we're gonna work on now, is how to set that spin back kick up. Um, I like using a jab beforehand. Okay, that jab, you know, I throw it high, and that uh, distracts your opponent uh, momentarily. It takes their attention away from your lower body and brings it up high. So if you're bringing their attention up high, where do you think we're going to kick? We're going to kick low. We're going to go to the body. Okay, so we're going to basically step with our jab and then spin back kick low to the body like that. Okay. Let me show you guys a few more times and I'm gonna have you practice on your own, okay? So again, I like to step into that jab, okay? And as I'm stepping, I'm actually turning myself. I'm getting ready for that spin back kick and then I'm throwing that kick. Remember, not a spin back kick, it's a, it's a, a turn back kick. Linear, straight behind me. And I didn't even have to look, okay, when I was kicking. If, if you're lined up properly, you're gonna hit whatever is directly behind you, okay? Um, so again, we're gonna step, turn, back, kick, like so. Okay, so let's look at this again. Okay, I'm gonna step, jab, spin, back, kick, okay? Really focusing on landing forward. So if you guys are practicing earlier, you know, using that line, um, I recommend continue using that line, okay? If you don't have it, that's fine. Okay, not a big deal. I'll show you guys how to do it. Step, jab, spin, back, kick, landing right on that line, okay? So at this point, you're gonna practice this drill on your own, about three to five minutes, doesn't have to be very long. Um, and again, depending on what belt level you guys are, that's really gonna determine what speed you're doing this, okay? This is definitely an advanced kick for my lower belt, so take it slow. My more advanced belts, um, you know, really imagine you're sparring someone, try to set that up, okay? Um, you know, if it comes out kind of slow, that's obviously not going to work, but you know, if that's the level you're at right now, that's fine, okay? This is all about making ourselves better uh, just a little bit each day, okay? Three to five minutes, start practicing that. So I actually wanted to end today's class with some stretching. Okay, at the beginning of the class, you know, we did those more dynamic move it, movements, uh, you know, the squats, lunges, all that stuff, and that's great to get started but to really work on flexibility. All these kicks take flexibility, okay? 
you got to do your your uh, kind of still stretching, your static stretching at the end of class. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with that. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the side splits. Okay, slide the other part as far as you can. Okay, guys. Once you get out as low as you can, try to wiggle your feet a little bit, and you can control how low you go. Okay, use your hands. Um, and if this is hurting a little bit, you know, you kind of push up a little more. It doesn't hurt quite as much. Okay, let's hold this about 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then slowly sit back, no crashing, okay? Now reach down to one side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten, and switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now from here, I want you to put your hands behind you. And you're gonna number one, try to keep your back straight, okay? And then think about pushing one of your legs. It doesn't matter which leg, try to push it out at an angle. Okay, push it. And you should feel that stretch inside here a little bit more. So we're gonna push that a little further, and we're gonna do another 10 seconds on each side. Okay, reach down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And switch sides. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Okay, now we're going to reach forward as far as we can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now go ahead and squeeze those legs together. Okay, shake those legs out. Now keep them straight. Reach down and grab your toes. Okay, another ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, and let's do a butterfly stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay guys, that's it for today. Um, like I said, at the end of your training sessions, it's always good to do a little bit of stretching like that. It will really help out your flexibility. Okay, thanks for coming today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend.